Hall. Hall Green. Anthony. Anthony. How are you? So, what is the name? Uh, Hall. Hall Green. Hall. Hello. Hello. I'm Hall. I'm Jenna. a candidate. Hi. Jenna. I grew up in Summerhill over on Kensington Road. I've been a Green's voter for a long time. I grew Good. up in Tasmania. Oh, wow. Well, so, what else? It's yeah. part of the DNA it down is. there. A week out from an election, we should be really clear about what what um, either side stands for. Ten reasons for vote for us on the back. Both parties seem to be hell bent on trying to badmouth the other. This one's actually doing good work. Exactly, yeah. Actually... On the big issue, 58% of the people that go to work in Sunday will go by public transport. Property prices and rents are just appalling. I hope there's more people from Brisbane like you moving down. <laughs> well, I just hope there's more people like me. We're meeting at Marrickville Town Hall well, outside. Probably at Alex Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <darling. laughs> That's my missus telling me I'm a bloody idiot because I was going to the wrong place. <laughs> I don't know. How are you? Boys, I'm stopping the stop. We're sick of locking them up. I see all these folk people here, but I do, I do actually want to acknowledge the original owners and custodians of this land. And on the questions of refugees, whether it is Labor's punitive policy or the madcap policy of the opposition, Grainler, this electorate, comes out number one in opposition to both Labor and the Liberals on their punitive refugee policies. The Greens policy is quite straightforward, compassionate and practical. No matter how they arrive, they have a right to demand refuge. We are in favour of an expanded intake uh, 30,000 to begin with and 6,000 from Indonesia and Malaysia that will ease the pressure on the you know taking the boats and risking your life at sea and when they get here we're for community processing and you know allowing people uh, rights to work and rights to access to education and to housing and so on so it's a compassionate and practical policy in response to what is one of the great moral challenges of our time. The other one, of course, is climate change. Do what we can about climate change as an urgent priority because we are probably on the eve or on the threshold of the creation of climate change refugees as well. It seems to me really four basic kind of principles for the 21st century. Yeah. If we can get them, you know, the world will be a much better place.